from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. What a weekend it has been. Temperatures have been beautiful, lots of sunshine. I mean, really great weather. It's kind of that early taste of spring. You know, we start to get this time of year. You just want more of it, and then you get a shot of winter to remind you it's still February. We're going to get all that this week. 65 right now in Tulsa. Lots of 60s. Wichita Falls there at 69. So good stuff going on. That's going to continue. We do have this weak boundary moving through this trough. It'll switch the winds around briefly. Not much impact on our temperatures. The storm system we're watching still well out in the southwestern United States. Doesn't look like much now, but as we head into Tuesday morning, that'll start to impact our weather. Here it is as we head towards uh, the big picture. We're talking about Tuesday, mainly in the morning. That moves through. Big rainmaker for parts of the area. And then another system comes through Wednesday. Watch what happens behind this one, though. Uh, some of those blues get down in here, so that's some colder weather that's going to settle in for Thursday and Friday. That'll be pretty progressive, though. We'll see that move on. We'll warm back up next weekend, all in all, looking pretty good as well. We're not going to complain about that. And then another storm system hot on its heels for early the following week. So our active uh, storm system pattern continues. Every few days, we're, we're going to get a system come through that's going to bring us rain chances. Uh, and the way that's just kind of the way things look right now. So Monday night and early Tuesday, rain likely, a few thunderstorms. Same, same story Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. Thursday looks to be cold, but what about Valentine's Day? A lot of people got big plans. Let's talk about those. Uh, it looks like we're going to see that AM rain and storm activity followed by sun in the afternoon. It will be very, very windy, though, and mild. And, of course, our Thanksgiving turkey that's just decided to adopt us or something. It's back again for Valentine's Day. Just, just in the holiday spirit, I guess it's going to show up all the time. We should be in the 60s that day. 65 right now, 50s off to the east and northeast, 63 in Oklahoma City. Here comes that little wind shift line through. Notice tonight behind it, still into the 30s tomorrow afternoon. Kind of back similar to where we were today, just maybe a couple of degrees cooler. Clouds start to increase from the west late in the day. Here comes our storm system rolling in late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. Notice showers and a few embedded thunderstorms moving through. But by the time we get to noon, most of that moving off into Missouri and Arkansas. Gusty south winds behind the dry line develop, and that could lead to a few issues with temperatures in the 60s and those winds gusting at times uh, 20 to 45 miles per hour. Some of the gusts could be near 50 with those southwest winds and drier air moving in behind that. We will see an elevated dry uh, fire risk. So just be aware of that. Tuesday is just going to kind of offer us quite a bit. Then Wednesday in between systems back up to near 70 with a gusty south wind. And then uh, Wednesday night, once again, that moves through. It looks like this rain chance is going to be a bit more sporadic. It could have a severe risk in southeast Oklahoma, but not quite as much rain with this one. And then northwest Oklahoma could get just a little bit of wintry mix or snow out of it. So we'll be watching all this pretty closely. And then as mentioned, some cold weather is on the way Thursday looks to be cold and blustery high struggling to get near 40 with a gusty northwest wind that'll feel a lot different but hey we could get some more much needed rain especially the eastern third of the state maybe a half an inch to an inch but that temperature roller coaster is going to rear its ugly head after being near 70 on Wednesday we're going to struggle to get out of the 30s there on Thursday but notice it doesn't last long we kind of warm right back up and we also keep that active pattern as far as rain chances going as well with multiple chances over the next week to week and a half here is a look at your extended forecast 60s the next three days so our nice run of uh, weather at least on that end keeps going we do have a good bet for rain and a few thunderstorms Monday morning or Tuesday morning rather plans look pretty good for Tuesday evening for your Valentine's Day dinner date but it will be windy. Not too bad, though, other than that. And then that shot of colder arrives on Thursday, but we warm back up next weekend. All in all, looking pretty good at this point in time. That is it for weather. Lots going on in sports. Let's hear about it.